So Jay Station went outside of his apartment at 3 a.m. Not even kidding, it looked like it was actually 3 a.m. And he had a lot to say about people who uh, apparently quote-unquote hate on him. So this video is very clearly addressed to pretty much the commentary community because we have talked about Jay Station and his antics for a very long time. If you don't know who Jay Station is, uh, basically he's the guy who does 3 a.m. challenges about literally anything that he can. What hasn't he done? He apparently bought a slave on the dark web in one video. Obviously, they're all fake. Bought a slave on the dark web. He, uh, he did a video where he fake pulled over and arrested his girlfriend, threatened to shoot her several times and whatnot, literally a week after the whole George Floyd situation. That video, from what I know, is now taken down. Uh, he's made, of course, the 3 a.m. challenges. I don't even know if that should really have to be actually addressed, uh, like, forwarded, but... Then, of course, you got the one where he pretended that his girlfriend was killed in a drunk driving accident and, you know, clickbaited and faked that one for views. Basically, uh, he's known as kind of like the big joke of YouTube in a lot of ways. Uh, honestly, I don't even hate Jay Station. I really don't. Jay Station might be actually like a legitimately good person who just clickbaits and BSs on the internet for money. But yeah, he addresses literally everyone that uh, talks, I guess, about his videos as quote-unquote haters, which is odd because once again, I, I don't hate. I don't hate Jay Station whatsoever. I just think that the videos he makes are predatory towards children oftentimes scares them and takes advantage of the fact that they don't understand that it's fake in order to capitalize on money. So yeah, he had some stuff he wanted to say and uh, I want to go ahead and kind of just react to it and respond to it because like I said, I, I think it's kind of funny and I think it's uh, worth addressing if we're keeping it a buck here. So Jay Station has been going kind of off the deep end recently. Uh, he's been talking about all kinds of crazy things, uh, one of which that I think is hilarious is he's apparently going to sue Nerd City and Colossal is Crazy, uh, two other commentary channels, because I guess they have said bad things about him, right? They, they don't like his videos or whatever, and uh, he's going to sue them. So I would love to see how that holds up in a court of law, how he's going to be able to sue them and it work out for him. But I think uh, Ethan Klein of H3H3 uh, already kind of proved that you are allowed to criticize other people's videos uh, legally on the internet. So uh, when he ends up uh, losing that case like that, uh, I mean... I, I, that might be a little funny, to be honest, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just address the video here. Uh, before we go ahead and get started, I do want to make sure to remind you guys, over half of you have yet to subscribe. Go ahead and hit the button down below. Plenty of content being uploaded daily. Make sure to leave a like as well if you do enjoy, and tell me what you think about all this down below. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into reacting. Look, man, this is so f***ing stupid. Listen, if my shit is so for kids, then why the f*** are you guys watching it? Yeah, I think I can answer that question. Uh, so, we're not actually, like, genuinely watching your content. Basically, what happens is every time you upload, it's gotten so formulaic at this point that we know exactly what's going to happen. And it only takes about 30 seconds to, like, understand and comprehend what is happening in the video. And th that's really all you need. I mean, it's not like I have uh, the, the upload notifications on for JayStation just waiting for a video to come out or anything like that. In fact, I've probably only seen maybe three or four of his videos in my lifetime, and those are the ones that I've, like, actually talked about, so... It's just a very, uh, ingenious way, might I add, for him to kind of, like, dodge the fact that he's doing something wrong, and he can kind of just pretend that, like, oh, well, if it's so for kids, then why do you watch? <laughs> gotcha. When in reality, it's just him deflecting criticism and realizing, uh, that, you know, we're only realistically even announcing anything about him or bringing anything about him out because of the shit that he does, so... You guys are grown adults yeah i mean that's true but you're also a grown adult making content that is predatory towards children so i mean <laughs> what point are you trying to make go watch donald trump speak uh no actually i think i'm gonna pass on that honestly i don't really watch donald trump speeches uh i'm not really uh into that kind of thing so get a fucking life don't you have a job Make one video on JayStation, suddenly you don't have a life. You know, the, the logic really, uh, the logic really, I guess, just comes right out. It's in flying colors at this point. He, he really understands, uh, the whole point against him. You're an adult, you watch my videos and they're so for kids? You don't have a life, weirdo. Go watch some Donald Trump speeches or something. Yeah, I do have a job, actually. Uh, I, I have two jobs. Uh, one of them, actually is to talk about things that I find interesting or find, you know, newsworthy, topic-worthy. And, uh, yeah, when you do the things that you do oftentimes, that's uh, that's considered topic-worthy to me. And, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of my job, my guy. I, I, I get paid to, to do YouTube just like you do. So I would think you, if anyone, would understand that. So Don't you got a job? Yeah, I just answered that for you. Yeah, it's literally to just do whatever I want on YouTube, so... Look, dude. Okay, I'm looking. 
six million people like what the f I do. They hit subscribe. I got one and a half billion views on YouTube before I deleted some. That's cool, dude. Uh, yeah, that that would be an even bigger accomplishment if it wasn't content directly aiming towards children, and not even just aiming towards children, because kids' channels are fine most of the time, in my opinion, if they actually make kids' content. But it's the fact that, you know, once again, clickbaiting your girlfriend's death, or quote-unquote death, I should say, uh, acting like you were arrested by the police in that video when you weren't, fake arresting your girlfriend uh, and threatening to shoot her a week after a massive tragedy erupted protests and conversation across the planet, the dozens, honestly, at this point, countless 3 a.m. challenge videos you've done that are intended to manipulate the fact that children don't understand it's fake. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's kind of the whole point, so. A lot of people like what I do. Yeah, a lot of kids like what you do. Uh, once again, I'm not debating that. I'm not debating the fact that no one likes what you do. The debate is that what you're doing is morally very kind of slanted, and at the end of the day that it's quite ridiculous, so I, I don't understand where this is coming from. I don't give a f if you like it or you don't, I'm going to do what I like to do, bro. Period. Period. Because there's a lot of people that like it. Period. That's it. That's cool. Uh, I got to ask, though, why are you on Twitter threatening to sue people because of what they say about you and then at the same time making these long videos and whatnot saying, oh, I don't care what anyone has to say about me. I, I care so little that my entire Twitter timeline now is me threatening to literally sue people, me trying to cancel people, and at the same time, me saying I don't care. Yeah, it, it, you know, your actions kind of outweigh your words a lot of the time, and, you know, yeah, I, I think you should understand that. No, bro. No, bro. I'm live, bro. Can you just leave me alone, man? All right, yeah, I know. This is a very weird point in the video. Essentially, he was approached by a homeless person on the street in downtown Toronto, I guess, which is where he says he lives. And, uh, yeah, he spends, you know, the better part of, what, 20 or so seconds arguing with this fucking guy over giving him change, so. Give him some change, please. No, bro. Just a couple of No, leave me alone, man. Thank you. Sorry, guys. But, yo, look. Oh, my lord. Uh, what do I say? Let's just continue, I guess. These keep coming back at me, man. They're gonna attack me, attack me, attack me, attack me, bro. Yeah, see, you, you take people talking about you on YouTube as quote-unquote attacks. That That's what's bad about all this. Once again, I, I don't think that you should be put to jail because of anything you do. I don't even think that you should be cancelled. I just think that you should realize the kind of content you're making is messed up. I'm not attacking you. Nobody that I can think of who makes videos on you is attacking you. Like, you're a grown man. You know what I'm saying? It's about time to get out of the YouTube victim mentality and quit pretending like people saying that you're, you're, you're saying some and doing some bad stuff on YouTube is quote-unquote attacks. Look, I'm sorry, guys. Look, I live downtown Toronto, bro. This is a daily occurrence, man. These people ask me for everything. Okay, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. But look, I'm going to keep on doing what I want to do, period. I don't give a f I don't make my video for you. I don't make my video for you. If you a f***ing hater, go the f*** somewhere else, man. Go f*** somewhere else, dude. I, I don't give a f*** about you. Okay, so you're going to keep making videos, you say. Which, whatever, right? Uh, you don't care about me. The video is not for me. Okay, so if the video is not for me, then why are you so worried about my input? Why are you so worried about other people's inputs? If the video is not meant for the people criticizing you, why do you care? To the point that you're threatening lawsuits, you're threatening literal legal action against people. You know, th that doesn't really insinuate to me that you don't care. But then on top of that, you, you unironically called people saying that, you know, your videos are morally slanted. You called them haters. So that kind of right there was like negative 10 points on your argument. So, dude, go watch what you like. Like I said, Donald Trump, go watch it, bro. Why do you insinuate that I like Donald Trump? I, I don't. I don't care about what Donald Trump's speeches have to say. I don't actively care about politics that deeply to the point where I'm like, I gotta tune into Donald Trump's speech today. Like, it's a very passive topic to me, you know? It just, okay. Go watch it. I guarantee you. I can guarantee you. This is gonna be good. He's gonna guarantee us something, so I'm hoping that he really follows through. This dude right here is gonna make the best movie you ever gonna see. I, I gotta tell you, dog. Uh, if it's anything like you've ever uploaded to your YouTube channel, I can already tell you I'm not gonna like it. And if you don't like it, which I guarantee you will, your kids are gonna like it, bro. 
Uh, no, I, I don't have kids, so I don't think my kids are going to like it. And they're going to put their little f***ing poster on the f***ing wall. No, uh, once again, they're not. I don't have any. And also, you have to consider the fact, who is buying the poster for the child? So, if I didn't like the movie, and I didn't like you, and I thought that you were a bad influence on my kids, I I'm pretty sure I would not be buying them your movie posters to put on their wall, so... And then how are you going to like me then? I, 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 my opinion on you will be relatively unchanged, I can say. You already don't like me. I never said that. I don't know, I don't know where you get the idea that people don't like you. I don't even know you as a person. How can I say I don't like you? I bet if we kicked it for like 45 minutes and like the genuine side of your personality came out, maybe I would like you. I don't know. I don't know you as a person. But when it comes to the shit that you upload on YouTube, I can't agree with that. And I don't think that it's good. It's that simple. I don't think that you're a horrible human being who deserves to go to jail or anything like that. I just don't like your YouTube videos. Dude, trust me. I'm going to bless you. I want to be a big movie director, okay? That's that's what I'm going to do, period, period. Okay, dude, well, that's great. You want to be a movie director, you, you go ahead for it, dude. I'm, I'm not discouraging you from that. But don't be putting out anything like you are on YouTube, bro, please. So, I mean, that, that's really the gist of this video. I just thought it would be kind of, you know, good to react to, kind of funny to react to, because at the end of the day, it's just, it, it's so ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? He, like, very oversimplifies everything being said against him and, like, what people think about him. To the point where, like, he literally just gets it completely wrong. Like I said, I feel like people think I hate Jay Station, like he does. I think he feels like people like me hate him. I have no problem with the person. I have a problem with what he uploads to YouTube and takes advantage of, okay? that That's the issue. I, I mean, like I said, Jay Station might be one of the best people I've ever met if we met. Am I really interested in meeting Jay Station? Honestly, probably not. Considering the fact he lives in a different country as well, but... I mean, I, I don't get where he thinks that, like, I, I can't stand him or no one else can stand him and we all hate him as a person. Like I said, I, I don't even know the guy. So, with all that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch, at Subtoptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, getting called out by JayStation, I guess, and signing out.